Hey what's up guys welcome in Tech Jarvis. In this video I'm gonna show you how to install Clover Bootloader from Windows. Guys to install Clover Bootloader you need to download all these files. You can download these files from the description box. Guys the first file is explorer++, another is 7zip, Clover ISO and Hesley UEFI. First of all I'm gonna install 7zip to extract the folder now click on install installation is complete close now click here and open this file with 7-zip open archive and open this again open this open open EFI folder now here copy the clover folder copy the clover folder and click on ok now clover folder is copied as you can see here is the clover folder these are the files of clover bootloader now it's time to assign any letter to the system volume guys by default system volume is hidden we have to mount this system volume by assigning any letter so open cmd and type disk part and type list disk and hit enter type select disk 0 and hit enter now type list volume list vol and here as you can see volume 5 is our system folder in my case it's volume 5 if you have another one then select the another one so I'm right type select volume 5 now volume 5 is selected type assign letter equals to T and hit enter and close this now open explorer plus plus and run as administrator and click on this PC and as you can see here is the drive V open EFI now you need to paste the clover folder here First of all, I recommend to take a backup of this EFI folder. In any case, your bootloader is, is corrupt, then you can backup the folder. Restore the folder from here. I am gonna paste in my new drive. You can paste your folder in any drive you want. And click on escape. Again, click on escape and close this now let me copy the clover folder in the EFI folder here is the EFI folder and I am gonna copy the clover folder which I have extracted and copy and paste here now clover folder is copied as you can see all the files is in the clover folder so close this and now it's time to run this easy UFI. Click on run as administrator and click on manage UFI option. Here type plus button to add the clover bootloader entry and in the type select it Linux or other OS and in the description type clover and anything you want and click here and select the Clover bootloader configure file EFI Clover and here Clover 64.EFI click OK and click on OK now Clover boot entry is added it's time to shift this boot entry to the first position So as you can see it shifts to first position now it's time to reboot the system so i'm gonna press power and click on reboot and click on yes to reboot the system so as you can see my pc is rebooting guys press f10 to boot your laptop in bios menu guys if you have another key then search on google how to boot into BIOS 
so in my case in, in my case it it's f5 so i'm pressing f5 now my pc is boots into bios mode system configuration type boot option and here ufi boot order change this clover to the first one by pressing f5 and as you can see it shift is shift is to first position and press f10 to save and again press f10 and click hit enter yes now press f9 during the rebooting after entering simultaneously press f9 to boot into boot option now here as you can see boot is shift clover is on first position and windows is on second now hit enter and as you can see clover boot loader is here on your screen so by this way you can install clover boot loader on your windows guys um first of all i'm gonna restart the pc to show you clover boot loader is firstly start or not so i'm gonna restart uh, my computer and hit enter so let's check my pc is boots into the clover boot loader or not without pressing any key so yes as you can see my pc is boots up into the clover mode so guys i'm gonna restart my pc in the in the windows and i'm gonna fast forward the video so guys from here bonus part of the video is starting in this bonus part i'm gonna show tell you how you can uninstall clover boot loader so to uninstall the clover boot loader open this clover folder again and open explorer plus plus and guys you need to assign this is any letter to the system folder as we did earlier so now i'm gonna assign the letter by in this part open this part and guys i'm gonna fast forward the video I assign letter V to the to this folder. Now click this clover folder and delete this. Click on yes. Now close this and close this. Now open Easy UFI tool and open run as administrator. Again, open manage EFI boot option and here clover shift clover boot entry to the bottom now boot entry shift to bottom and put this windows boot entry to the up so here so guys click on clover and click on minus and click on yes to delete the boot entry and again reboot your system and click on reboot and click on yes now pc is restarting guys i'm gonna fast forward the video So guys as you can see my pc boot boots into the windows directly into windows there is no clover boot loader it's mean clover boot loader is uninstalled from my pc so guys by this way you can install or uninstall clover boot loader in windows guys if you like this video give a big thumbs up thank you for watching tech jarvis